There is something about the Philippines that is why we keep on coming back from its beautiful beaches, culture and tradition, and its people. It is where life begins and love never ends. The Philippines welcomes you again. what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way caught up in a daydream i beat my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place see because everybody want to tell you bad things what could go wrong what fame brings but success is a finicky thing and if you ain't sure no it'll never be i don't want to let myself down myself This is my 45 days in the Philippines. Can anybody out there hear me? Hear me? I am now traveling from Toronto, Canada to Manila as my final destination with 3 hours layover in South Korea. Before entering Manila, you need to present COVID vaccine, negative PCR test, 3 days hotel accommodation, and fill up the one health pass and then you are good to go. I am excited on this flight because this is my first time to see my family again after four years and celebrate our Christmas together. Come on, follow my journey. I made it to Korea. Four hours left, I'm going to Manila. See you, Manila. later Oh! 
hours drive from Naga City Camarines so we just arrived here in Manila Domestic Airport and our flight is 9.50 in the morning via Cebu Pacific Air the flight usually takes 1 hour and 15 minutes at this time there is no additional requirement upon arrival in Iloilo Airport aside from vaccination certificate come on and enjoy the view from above
We made it to Iloilo. See you guys later. Upon arrival, we were greeted by Ilongas Hospitality and my friend from Norway. Our first destination is to visit the Garin Farm Resort to have an experience of heaven and earth. Located an hour and a half from Iloilo City, it is a place where you can breathe fresh air and find peace while praying. The resort is divided into three attractions, the farm, the leisure park, and the retreat place. The pilgrimage is the highlight of the resort. This is where you are going to meet God face to face without dying. But before you go to heaven, you have to face some challenges and you have to climb a hundred step stairs under the heat of the sun. And there are stations of the cross you will encounter along the way. At the top, you can see a huge cross where you can repent sin before entering heaven. And this is heaven and earth. Angels are welcoming you as you enter the gates of heaven. A place of purity, white floors, white stairs, white walls, white statues, angels, and a white cross. Uh, back to the world, we visited as well the University of the Philippine Iloilo Campus and the Miyagao Church as it was chosen as UNESCO World Heritage Site because of its architectural design and local artistic element. The next step. Heading to Isla de Gigantes, travel time from Iloilo City to Gigantes Island is approximately 2 to 3 hours. Before riding the boat, make sure to pay the environmental fee at the tourism office. Isla de Gigantes Island is the hidden paradise of the northernmost part of Iloilo City Province. Gigantes group of islands is consists of 10 islands in totality. It is blessed with white sand beaches, crystal clear waters, and also known the scallop capital of the Philippines where you can buy 1 peso for 1 scallop. According to our local tour guide, we are going to visit 10 islands. Antonia Island is the closest island from Gigantes Norte. The place is notable for being snorkeling hub for its lively underwater scenery. Let's pray. There is more than we know as the countryside clears. Welcome to Isla de Gigantes, the best island beach in the world. The world is yours. Let's pray it doesn't bring you to tears As the people who woke and there was unusual fears Oh, the world, the world is yours I'll stay forever a day to keep you safe As it's so unpredictable I'll pray that this is the way as the earth falls You know that Heading now to my favorite island, it is the Kabugao Gamay, our last island to visit. It is the most photographed of all islands for its scenic view. It is a piece of heaven for chasing the tropical island vibes. And there is as well a viewing deck for a full island views.
Back to Naga City Camarines Store on my day 18, we would like to bring Christmas joy to our local team of Clavius Toyo and Suki Norway and gives back to their community. But first, we need to buy some essentials and gift to them. We will give Noche Buena package such as spaghetti, canned goods, disinfectant product, soy sauce, cupcakes, and the star of Noche Buena is the hamon. The Filipino Noche Buena table is not complete without spaghetti and hamon. This is one of the influence of Spaniards to us. But most importantly, we would like to bring smile in this Yuletide season. Come on, follow my journey while shopping. We just arrived here in Sabang Camarines Resort for our gift giving activity. Sabang is a remote area in Calabanga Camarines Resort. Generally, fishing is the people's main source of living and making dried fishes. Due to pandemic, their local products are not sold. We asked their contact person to export their products to Norway under social entrepreneurship company which aim to shell out his proceed to gift giving as a starter and many projects to come in the near future. Come on, follow my journey in bringing joy to this community. <laughs> 